Okay, here's another example of how to find the new five key points and graph a function. So this one's a little uglier looking. Um, if you look over here though, there is no vertical shift. So it's missing that, but for the most part, there's amplitude, something going on there. Um, the periods being impacted, all of this, remember, impacts the phase shift. And so, again, I think it's a good idea to either, you know, use the unit circle, right? Let's see. And get your, um, you know, well, that's a terrible circle. Sorry about that. Um, use the unit circle to get the key points um, off that, right? And again, we're looking at sine, so that would be all the y values. Otherwise, if you know mid, high, mid, low, mid, then you kind of know 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0 from that. Otherwise, you need the order pairs from over here. All right, so basically, we need to fix the angle. And so to know the phase shift right here, um, you have to realize that that has to be in factored form. Now, um, if you think back to factoring, if you have like 2x plus 8 and you factor out a 2, what you're really doing is dividing this by 2 and dividing that by 2. So if you have 2 thirds x plus pi over 4 and you factor out a 2 thirds, then what you're really doing is dividing this by 2 thirds and dividing that by 2 thirds. So pi over 4 divided by 2 thirds, you multiply by the reciprocal. That is what? 3 pi over 8. So if you factor that 2 thirds out of this, you're going to get an x. Plus, if you factor that 2 thirds out of this, you're actually going to get 3 pi over 8. Now, if you're not sure, you know, distribute to make sure that would be what? 6 pi over 24, which does reduce to that. Now, if you're like, I'm not good enough at factoring to figure that out, well, the other option is to figure out the phase shift um, by setting it equal to zero. So kind of like a factor, you can set that equal to zero. Um, subtract the pi over four, two thirds x equals negative pi over four. Right, those guys cancel. And then again, multiply by the reciprocal to solve that equation. So x equals negative 3 pi over 8. Now, you have to remember, though, that's not the factor. That's kind of like the, I don't know, like when you solve, it'd be like your x-intercept or whatever. So this is your phase shift when you set it equal to 0. So again, if you want to factor, you have to remember that it's going to be, i got to find some space here. Um, it's going to be y equals 4 thirds sine, and then it's going to be, um, what did I pull out, 2 thirds, and then it's going to be x, and it's actually going to be plus that because the phase shift is after you set it equal to 0, so plus 3 pi over 8. So you're going to get it if you factor right there. Um, but you're also, you can do the phase shift, it's just that you have to, you know, if it's negative, it would be plus in the, as far as a factor. If this was positive, this would be subtraction as far as a factor goes. All right, so I'm going to erase some of the stuff so we can um, do some math here. So I'm going to get rid of this, and I think I'll just rewrite that. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that too. All right, so in factored form, um, either way, however you factor it, you're going to get y equals 4 thirds sine, and then you're going to pull that 2 thirds out, and then you're going to get, what do we get, um, x plus 3 pi over 8. So somehow you have to figure out the phase shift and factor that. All right, so now to fix your x, okay, so to fix your x or your angle, Right. What we need to do is we need to get rid of um, the stuff that's going on in here. So if you look at everything that's impacting your angle, that's what we need to get rid of. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to get rid of that dividing. So we're going to divide by two thirds and we're going to get rid of the phase shift there. So we're going to subtract the three pi over eight. OK. And again, that's technically adding the phase shift. The phase shift is a negative 3 pi over 8, which is going to shift everything to the left. So you could add a negative there, too. Uh, great. All right. Sorry about that. I had to go get a power cord to... All right. So to fix the x angle, you're going to divide by 2 thirds, and that's going to get rid of that. And we're going to subtract the 3 pi over 8. And again, this is not your phase shift, so you can't subtract that. You either have to set it equal to 0 and solve or factor 
to realize that after you divide by two thirds, you use the phase shift, all right? So again, with um, fractions, that would mean multiplying by three halves and then subtracting the three pi over eight. So you're going to do that math to all of your inputs here. So you're gonna take zero times three halves and let's see, what else do we have to do there? And then subtract the three pi over eight. You're gonna do the same too. Let me just write these guys all down. Pi over two, pi, three pi over two, and two pi. All right, so you're gonna multiply by three halves minus three pi over eight times three halves minus three pi over eight times three halves minus three pi over eight and times three halves minus three pi over eight. So again, I'm not gonna do all of these because hopefully you guys are good with fractions, but this would be zero. Um, so you're gonna get a negative um, three pi over eight. Um, here you're going to get what? 3 pi over 4. So this is going to be 3 pi all over 4. And then you have minus 3 pi over 8. So you're going to have to double to get a common denominator. Right? And so that's what? 6 pi over 8 minus 3 pi over 8, which is going to be 3 pi over 8. And it looks like this is going up by 6 pi over 8. Um, but again, we can figure that out later. Um, stick a 1 underneath that. That would be what? 3 pi over 2. So this would be 3 pi over 2. Again, I need a common denominator, so times 4, times 4. So 12 pi over 8 minus 3, so that's going to be what? 9 pi over 8. So it does look like it's going up 6 pi over 8 because it starts negative. Add 6, I get this. Add 6, I get this. So then if I know that, then I could just add 6 to this and then add 6 to that. And hopefully I'm adding correctly. All right, and again, you can double check. Um, all you'd have to do is multiply over here. You get what, six pi over two times four times four is 24 minus three. Yep, I'm good. Now, those are your new X's. And then to get your new Y's is a little bit easier. Um, you look at just what's happening to the outside here. Um, basically this, and over here, there's nothing going on. There's no, um, vertical shift there. So basically all you have to do is um, multiply by four thirds. So um, let's see, I'll make, I guess I'll take blue. So you're just gonna multiply all of these and you make them a little smaller. You're gonna just take this times four thirds, this times four thirds, this times four thirds, this times four thirds, and this times four thirds to get your new Y. And again, if there was a vertical shift, you'd add or subtract to that answer. So these are going to be your new five X's or five angles. And then after you do the math to that, that is going to give you your new Y's and then you can graph um, that sine function.